Hello Aries, welcome to your general love reading for August 2021. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And because it is general, it's not going to be everybody's situation. But you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading. And also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because this is a general reading. So let's get the major energies for Aries. Mannix is in a very affectionate mood. I just could not get him to go away um, before starting, and so he's here. But we're just going to work around him, so I will eventually get him off. All right, so for your overall energy, we have free will. Okay, so this could be for you, this could be for a person that you're dealing with. Somebody is actually possibly having a little bit of a hard time or has been having a hard time when it comes to actually making their own choices based on what it is that they truly want. So their free will, for example, might be um, affected or influenced by society, by other people, um, by specific circumstances in their lives, whatever. All right, so we're gonna get into this and see what this is about. So Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the first half of August. So I am going back to a previous spread that I, that I had been doing, which does include your energy as well as your person's energy. One sec, because Mannix is trying to mess up the shuffling here. All right. All right, come on. All right, so for the situation, we have the Two of Wands crossed by the tower. Oh, okay. So definitely there is a situation here. There is something that somebody has been thinking about doing, possibly even just planning, 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 not having taken action on it because there is this fear of change. There is a fear of everything being destroyed, everything in their life actually um, coming down and having to rebuild from the beginning. So there may have been a delay when it comes to a specific decision here in love because there is that fear here of that tower falling. So let's see for the recent past we have temperance, near future we have the six of wands. All right for them we have, sorry for you we have the nine of pentacles, for them, we have the Wheel of Fortune. More about you is the Page of Pentacles. For them, the Devil. All right, and the potential outcome here is the King of Wands. And give me one second because there's no way he's going to allow me to work. Okay. No more distractions. All right, okay, so Aries. So in the recent past, with temperance being here, I feel like this is a situation that has been going on for a long time, and one of you has actually um, been very, very patient with the other person, all right? Um, we will clarify those, so we'll see, we'll get more information there. Um, I do see some kind of success coming up here, so I feel like whoever it is that is in the position of trying to make a decision here or trying to take some kind of action, planning for something, afraid of that tower, there is some kind of a victory, all right, coming up in the near future. In your energy with the Nine of Pentacles as well as the Page of Pentacles, I feel like you are actually becoming more independent. You are really focusing on yourself and possibly even feeling detached either from this or from another situation and just really trying to get on your own path and feeling good about your own self. I feel like this is still a new type of an energy for you, all right, with the Page of Pentacles. It's something that you are just now beginning to, um, to embark on. All right, and then for your person, we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Devil, all right? So that is definitely major, major stuff happening here. So I do kind of feel like 
it could be your person that is dealing with this situation here, afraid of this tower happening, because they are the ones also having some big issues here. Although, of course, it could also be you, okay? Even you just getting on this new path. Maybe you had a fear, you were delaying getting on this new path of being independent, of being on your own, being self-reliant, um, because there was a fear of this change and of what that would mean um, coming up for you. All right, so for your person though, there's definitely a shift that is happening here. Um, we will clarify that devil, obviously, to see what that is about, but I do see them still holding on to a lot of fear or possibly um, possibly being involved in a, some kind of a toxic situation. Could be an addiction, could be another relationship, it could be work, it could be anything. But it's interesting because we do also have the Wheel of Fortune, so there is some kind of a change that this person is actually going through and we do have victory um, in in the near future for you all right and for the potential outcome here for the first half of august we have the king of wands and i feel like this is you really you know feeling good about your own self standing in your own power and really making things happen for your own self regardless of this person so i do feel that you are actually um, moving towards being successful when it comes to being um, on your own here pretty much. So let's actually clarify. So let's clarify the two of wands with the tower. Okay, so we have the Nine of Wands, Strength, as well as the Four of Cups. Okay. Definitely a very, very difficult situation here that this person is um, involved in. Whatever it is that they are trying to trying to take action on, I feel like it is something that in general, there's a lot of resistance or there has been a lot of resistance. It, it's coming across as um, possibly even settling for unhappiness. And it's, it's almost like this person became very tolerant of living unhappily. So there's a lot of resistance and a lot of strength, but when it comes to being unhappy being able to tolerate this and I feel that the reason why this person has been able to tolerate an unhappy situation whether this is you or them is because it's been going on for so long and so it's just that naturally the longer you stay in something the more tolerance you build up to it so again I mean with this free will though being here I feel like you know this is somebody who feels like or has been feeling like they really didn't have another choice and they just stayed here settling for a situation that they just weren't exercising their own free will to go after what it is that they truly truly want and what would make them happy one reason being a fear of this tower which could involve other people because we have that free will card so let's clarify the nine of pentacles for your energy The Six of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and the Emperor. Yeah, so there's definitely a situation here that you're walking away from. And it's a situation that I feel has caused you a lot of stress. And I feel like, you know, there might still be some stress when it comes to walking away from this. But I don't feel like it is as intense as maybe it once was. Um, it's it could be creating a little bit of anxiety for you, but I feel like you really have a handle on this You are really on your way to moving towards that nine of Pentacles, right with the six of swords You are walking away from something you are moving away and you're moving away from a situation that Just created so much stress for you that it's just like, you know, you're about to burst and you're like I'm taking control of my life right now Being my own emperor and making things happen for my own self, independently of this connection. 
Let's see the Page of Pentacles. All right, the Queen of Wands and the High Priestess. You're following your intuition, basically. I mean, you're showing up here. Again, you're like all over the place. <laughs> I mean, we have the Emperor, we have the King of Wands, the Queen of Wands. And I, it also comes through as you also being very um, grounded, or at least grounding yourself. Kind of like, you know, snapping back to reality kind of a thing. Like, remembering who you were is the way this is coming remembering who you were and I feel like again like this is something new like this is just a new path that you have decided to take after a long time and you're beginning to feel like your own self again you're beginning to trust yourself again you're beginning to trust your higher self again all right so let's let's take a look at this person here and again keep in mind that because these are general and not all Aries are dealing with the same sign um, parts of this may or may not resonate for you okay so let's see the Wheel of Fortune all right we have justice the lovers ooh and the fool Okay, what is going on with this person here? I mean, <laughs> so far, every single card for this person has been Major Arcana. This is huge. Like, this is no joke. This is not just, okay, we're having a little shift. No, this is freaking huge. This is five cards, and five out of the five are Major Arcana cards. There is a huge decision here that is being made by this person. A huge, huge decision. Um, which is going to be based in love, all right? So for a lot of them, it could be definitely um, having to choose between two different situations. And I actually don't like using that phrase because it oftentimes isn't really, oh, which one do I choose? It's actually, how do I get away from this? How do I get myself untangled from a situation that might be very, very difficult? Um, either because it, it could be for financial reasons, it could be just, it could be a whole bunch of things that are just very, very complicated. Um, it doesn't have to be that, but whatever the shift is, it does involve love. It does involve a major decision, which I feel is going to be um, the right decision here. Somebody making a decision based off of a place of balance. All right, so for the other signs that are showing up here, um, we definitely have Libra, we have Gemini, um, another Aries possibly. All right, we have Capricorn, could be any sign. We also have Aquarius showing up here. It could be any sign though. All right, just calling out what I see. So definitely a huge decision here that I feel is going to happen. Um, it's going to happen suddenly. So I feel like it's a gradual process, but then like once it happens, it's going to be very, very sudden. Like it's building up to it gradually, possibly taking small, small steps. And then once it happens, it's going to be bam, like there's this huge shift from one day to the next. This person at the moment is already in that process, okay? So let's see the devil. All right, okay, so thankfully, for this devil, we have the Ten of Swords and the Four of Swords, okay? So this is actually a very positive, um, clarifying combo to get for the devil because the devil is something toxic, right? It's something negative. It is something that could be a fear. It could be an addiction. It could be anything that is unhealthy. But we have the Ten of Swords and the Four of Swords. So this means this is something that is being put to an end and then there is recovery. And this is why we have victory here, because I actually feel like if this is this um, six of wands here, this success, this victory, is actually representing both of your energies, but for different things. For you, it is being independent, right? Um, for them, it is removing themselves from this, whatever situation this might be, which is going to be different for all of them, 
okay? Um, it's not going to be easy, all right, with that Ten of Swords. It's definitely something that is very painful, very difficult, um, but there is this recovery with the Four of Swords. There's healing here of whatever this devil's energy is. So it's still, this is what I'm getting. This devil's energy is still present, all right? That's why it's showing up here to begin with. It is still present. However, this shift, this change, this decision, this um, leap of faith, starting brand new, is leading up to this ending of that devil's energy and also the healing and the recovery of it. So whatever that is, this is something that they will be able to recover from. So let's clarify the Six of Wands. All right, and we have the Six of Pentacles, all right, two sixes. So definitely some balance here showing up. Um, and again, <laughs> this is coming in as being the both of you, all right, with that Six of Pentacles. This is like this even balance, this give and take, but I actually feel like it's not exactly with each other for the time being here. I feel like this is just confirming what I said, that this success is actually for the both of you. You are both like out on this equal parallel type of a wave, but just not together, not on the same wave, but like on a parallel wave. So this is what is happening. This is what is coming up in the near future. You are being successful at what you are doing. They are being successful at this shift, at this major change that they are um, currently undergoing as well. It's kind of like both being on the same page, but in but for different books. So if that makes any sense. All right, so let's see the King of Wands. This is a very positive reading. For the King of Wands, we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and the Four of Wands. Wow. Definitely also getting um, strong air signs. Air signs and, and fire signs are coming through very, very strongly here. Um, this success, this is the outcome here, right? This is being able to overcome challenges, and I feel like this is each of you being able to not only overcome your own individual challenges, right, which you are doing, that is actually leading to a lot of stability. That is leading to long-term commitment either together or just in general, all right, in your lives. This is leading to things being consistent, things coming to some kind of a, um, a full circle, being complete, also having a lot of clarity and being very um, firm in whatever it is that you are doing. Like it's, like it's like you're not bullshitting. They're not bullshitting, you're not bullshitting. You really are detaching. You really are doing your own thing. And this person really is making a shift here. This person really is moving away from this devil's energy. And that is also leading up to this Four of Wands, again, which could even be marriage. Um, but it is that sense of stability, especially, I mean, Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. That's a lot of stability and a coming together. Wow, Aries. So somebody is really taking control here, really um, using their own free will, rather than settling for something that was just not, not making them happy. All right, so Aries, if this resonated, let's get the final message for you. All right, and we have go the distance, which is exactly like this fool card, the wheel of fortune. This is somebody going the distance, taking a leap of faith, um, really just going ahead. And take this also as a message for you to, yes, go the distance. Keep doing what you're doing. Move in the direction that you're moving in because you are moving towards that victory. All right, Aries, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.